Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Jose here with your JCT TV Entertainment News. Hip hop pop star Nicki Minaj has been denied the privilege to speak to the students of her former high school. She recently made an offer to give a motivational seminar at the high school she graduated from, but was immediately shut down by the principal of the school. No reason was made public why the principal refused, but it was most likely due to Nicki's racy persona and lewd musical subject matter, including her lyrics to her over-the-top sexual music videos. Although she has come a long way in her career and gained fan status on a global level, she is well known to be an image of adult content, and the education admins want to keep it distanced from the learning atmosphere. Reality celebrity Khloe Kardashian has called for a break with her boyfriend, rapper French Montana. Sources claim Khloe initiated the breakup, saying the rapper was too needy and she needed to take a step back from the relationship. Khloe and Montana linked up not long after her divorce from Lamar Odom, and we all know how long rebounds can usually last. The Ray Rice domestic violence scandal has been taking media headlines by storm recently. But it's not the only episode the NFL has been facing at the moment. Another professional footballer has been indicted this week for child abuse charges. Minnesota Vikings running back Adrian Peterson was brought up by the Texas grand jury after Texas police released photos showing physical injury to his son's body. Peterson's lawyer released a statement saying, Peterson was disciplining his child. It is important to remember that Adrian never intended to harm his son and deeply regrets the unintentional injury. Peterson will not be playing in this Sunday's game against the New England Patriots. Kanye West is making his debut as a movie producer after teaming up with Jay-Z for comedian Chris Rock's new film, Top 5. The rapper pals served as executive producers on the project, and the Roots band leader, drummer Amir Questlove Thompson, signing on as the executive music producer. The Top 5 features Rock as a fictional funny man attempting to relaunch his career as a serious actor when his reality star fiance convinces him to allow their wedding to be broadcast on TV. The movie was also written and directed by Chris Rock. It premiered to rave reviews at the Toronto International Film Festival in Canada last Saturday. The worldwide rights to the film were snatched up by Paramount Studios after a huge bidding war. I was Jose for JCT TV Entertainment News. We're going to be heading over to the Entertainers Roundtable with Lashara and Jutrice.